Cheers. This is Nurki, the Aussie Otaku. G'day, this is Nurki. G'day, this is Nurki. G'day, it's Nurki again. G'day, this is Nurki, the Aussie Otaku. G'day, Nurki, the Aussie Otaku here. G'day, this is Nurki. G'day, this is Nurki, the Aussie Otaku. G'day, it's Nurki, the Aussie Otaku. <laughs> well, it's come to another New Year's Eve. Nothing much has happened. But I was bored at work today. Thought I might as well do some research into some random shit people do on New Year's Eve. Because, frankly, I'm getting sick of hearing all these people decide... I'm going to make a New Year's resolution, and I'm going to change my life. I want you to ask yourself, what did you resolve to do last year at New Year's Eve? And what have you actually done with your life in the last 12 months? Here's a few things people normally say on New Year's Eve for their resolutions. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to manage my debt. I'm going to save some money. I'm going to get a better job. I'm going to get fit. I'm going to eat right. I'm going to get a better education. I'm going to drink less alcohol. I'm going to quit smoking and I'm going to reduce my overall stress. I'm going to take a trip and I'm going to help others more. Boring. It's New Year's. Have a sip. Be more introspective. Here's some of my New Year's resolutions that I bet no one else has decided to do before. I'm going to piss more people off in my attempts to better myself every day. I'm going to try to make everyone else's resolutions fail. I'm going to stop expecting myself to change according to my resolutions because I'm a loser and never achieve anything. I'm going to lower my expectations of the world. I'm going to lose everything. I'm going to resolve to not change at all in the next 12 months because I'm already perfect. I'm going to stop being so bloody critical to the point where every year I need to make a resolution to change myself. You know, with the West, we just make up all this crap at New Year's Eve just as an excuse to get drunk. Warning, alcohol not allowed for under 18s. <laughs> These are a few random things they do in the rest of the world. In Finland, they cast molten tin into a bucket of water and determine their fate by what shape the metal takes when it hardens. For example, a ring or a heart shape will mean that they're going to get married. A ship will mean that they'll travel. And the shape of a pig will mean that they're going to get a lot of food. In Panama, they burn effigies of well-known people to ward off the spirits from the last year. In Scotland, the rite of first footing is observed. The first person to step foot into a house in the new year usually has to bring a present or a gift for good luck. And in the Philippines, round shapes usually represent coins and symbolise good luck. So what a lot of houses will do, will put round fruit on the dinner table for New Year's Eve and wear polka dot clothes. And in Belarus, single women will play this game where they'll leave a pile of corn and stand in front of it, one for each woman, and release a rooster. And the pile that the rooster goes to will actually determine who's going to be first to get married. So in conclusion, don't bother with any crappy New Year's resolutions like, oh, I'm going to lose weight, oh, I'm going to stop smoking, I'm going to masturbate less. Just go out and have fun. By the way, I live in Australia, so I get to celebrate New Year's before the rest of you. Ha ha! Drink more. Cheers, have a good one. And old Lang Syne and all.